I've witnessed the northern lights, falling stars, the Grand Canyon, moose, elk, grizzly bears. I've seen a wasp caught a tarantula hawk drag a paralyzed tarantula to its lair. But this intruder at my home ranks as one of the strangest natural phenomena I've ever seen. After some heavy rains, there was what looked like a piece of rope or something lying on the cement slab of my porch. No big deal, I vaguely noticed it. But where did it come from? A line of debris from a puddle of recent rains? But wait, as I leaned down to pick it up, I was startled to realize that, my God, it was moving. Just barely, inching forward is an overstatement. It was progressing so slowly that any slower end would have been going full speed backwards. But whoa, holy hell, it was alive. All the more creepy because I had never seen or heard anything like it. Could it leap up suddenly and tear at my face? Did it spit poison? If I gazed at it for too long, would I turn to stone? Was it a giant sloth, slug, some kind of paralyzed snake? It seemed to have a head leading in the direction it was moving, and it seemed to have a tail that followed up behind. It even seemed to be leaving some kind of mucus or debris trail in its wake. I looked closer. My God, bizarre! Something out of a Hollywood horror movie. It was an outlandish composition of tiny, slimy maggots hurrying along in a loose straight line, tumbling over the top and then beneath each other in an outrageous collective rolling synchronicity, propelling the whole disgusting community forward, heading for my house. What the hell was this thing? Where did it, they, think they were going? Why? What's the reason to emulate a piece of rope or a wounded snake? What's the advantage in suffocating each other as little cogs, just part of a grotesque, tumbling mass, and not boldly hiking alone? I tried to imagine a pile of a few thousand cantankerous humans trying to pull this off, tumbling over and beneath each other to propel everyone forward. Nope. No advantage for anyone in that. Why didn't the maggots just wait to sprout wings and traverse a given distance in 20 seconds? Rather than squirm along this way over 11 tedious years, I check online and discover that this monstrosity is a bundle of fungus gnat larva, sometimes referred to as a snake or train. Scientists claim that if this maggot snake conveyor belt system is three layers tall, the group can effectively double their speed than if they slithered alone. An unsuspecting stink bug itself, weird enough, approached. But the demon slug from beyond hell, the tumbling pride parade of piggybacking maggots, blocked its way. I could almost hear the black bug mumble, holy sh what the hell is that? And he wisely decided against fording the outrageous maggot train from outer space. Later inspecting around the porch, yet another arrow-like maggot march was discovered. Dear Lord, there was two of them. The next morning, after a night rain, three more rope dope monsters emerged quietly from the wet grass. Was my home being singled out for invasion, from hell, or another galaxy? Alas, I couldn't find anything online about whether they could also unify to pole vault, climb walls, lift windows, or turn doorknobs. Why not? Once nature goes fully bizarre on steroids, accelerator pushed to the floor, where, one wonders, are the limits? Where's that?